down. So here's the deal. I haven't done an outfit video in a while, probably since the summer, and no one really watched that one. However, it just occurred to me that I have been wearing this outfit, albeit a very comfortable but toothpaste stained oversized tee, which I've been wearing braless, obviously, and these pajama pants, which I thought, in all honesty, I thought would be very cute, but Brian makes fun of me because he says I look like a prisoner. I've been wearing this outfit for three days, and in fact, even Brian brought it up today. So, in honor of that, I have decided to get dressed. So of course, now we come to the almighty issue of a closet full of things with nothing to wear. So I decided to give myself a $100 budget to purchase a few cute key items that I don't have already in my repertoire. And um, surprise, surprise, I was able to put together some really cute outfits that I will walk around my house in because my best friend is my dogs. So I bought seven pieces. All of them are under $30. In fact, most of them are under $10, people. Here are the closet staples that I bought to upgrade my wardrobe and my life for under $30. Actually, mostly $25. All right, so here's piece one. I really love a turtleneck. I actually only have one in my closet right now, so I was very excited to get my one turtleneck a friend. I just think it's a really sophisticated design detail, and I was drawn to this top, if we're gonna be honest, because of the chunkiness of it. I just love a chunky sweater. And even though it is secondhand, there aren't any snags or holes, which is really nice. However, since it's now in my hands, <laughs> I give it a week. And you know what? Something that is not covered on YouTube is how to make a chunky sweater look more chunky. And the answer is with a chunky jacket. Now, if we're being honest, the best thing about being in a relationship is borrowing your person's clothes. So I wear Brian's clothes all the time. We all know this, it's fact. This jacket was actually thrifted in Tokyo. He found this in Tokyo and it says, in my opinion, I'm a badass in faux leather, but yet I also love and respect all my international brothers and sisters. Then I had these black pants. Um, clearly they don't really fit me anymore, which is probably why I don't wear them anymore, um, which is a bummer. But I do have my high top chucks, which I wear all the time, all the time. Now the best part we haven't even got to, I got this Gap sweater for $9. That's right. The estimated original price on ThreadUp was $70 and I got it for $9.10. You cannot beat that price. I would say a great find. Piece number two, these Pinstripe Abercrombie & Fitch dress pants, which happened to be my very first pair of Abercrombie & Fitch anything in my entire life. I actually rocked past an Abercrombie & Fitch store the other day and the only things that are guaranteed in life, death, taxes, and the distinct smell coming from an Abercrombie & Fitch store. Listen, you can always use a good pair of pinstripe pants, and that's coming from someone who has never owned a pair, and my life has felt empty because of it. So these are nice. These are actually really nice. Nice and stretchy with that forgiving waistband, which you guys know I love. And obviously you can dress these up, but I'm trying to be a cool looking blogger chick, okay? So dressing down we go. And I swear, I saw somewhere that this is how Kylie Jenner crops her tops. Maybe I dreamt it, I don't know, but it works. The perfect crop without showing under boob. It's actually quite brilliant. And then of course some white Air Force Ones, which I got for 40% off. Not from ThreadUp, but it is an honorable mention. So the price. Estimated original price for $68. I bought them for $8.80. $8 for forever pants? Timeless pants you can wear for life? Hello? Well, you know, unless I grow out of them, which seems to be happening lately. So you might have noticed a little trend going on about where I purchased all of my items. And the answer, my friend, is thread up. Obviously, as a fashionista myself, they are working with me on this video. I think they felt bad for me that um, all I do is live in pajamas. 
But obviously, if you guys know anything about me, ThreadUp combines my two loves, saving money and sustainability. ThreadUp is basically this huge online thrift store. And for me, I've, I've actually always wanted to try thrifting and I have in LA, but maybe I just don't have a good eye or all the LA like bloggers go through all the Salvation Armies possible in the Los Angeles County, I just don't find anything that I like. So ThreadUp scratches my thrifting itch all from the comforts of my own home, which we all know I prefer. So ThreadUp is a huge online thrift store with a wide variety of secondhand clothing items that you can organize and sort by brand, size, and color. If it's your first time on ThreadUp, I would totally recommend searching by your favorite brand. I didn't do that initially and I was just scrolling through pages and pages and hours and hours of my life trying to find things that I liked. So definitely type in your favorite brand names and then you'll be surprised how many cool looking items, good quality items pop up from your search. And they are not only great quality as you can see in this video, but they are so affordable, it is outrageous. If you're on a budget or just don't like spending money on clothes, which is something I hate, I hate spending money on clothes, but it makes it more enjoyable when I have good quality pieces that are under $15, $20. Plus, if you're trying to transition into a more sustainable lifestyle like myself, shopping secondhand is obviously by far way better than buying fast fashion or shopping all the time. Fun fact, or maybe not so fun fact, the fashion industry is actually the second highest polluting industry in the world right behind oil. Buying secondhand will greatly reduce your carbon footprint by keeping textiles out of landfills or decreasing water pollution or actually just a slew of other environmental and ethical issues brought on by the fashion industry. You're not only saving money, but again, you're reducing your carbon footprint on various levels, all by simply shopping secondhand. So I would say give it a shot. They actually have a wide variety of really cute, affordable clothes, everything from kind of like the Zara's of the world to actually really high fashion brands. I actually got this Escada blazer, which I love. However, it was definitely more on the expensive side. So not a part of um, this haul, but take a gander. So to get your shopping on, definitely use my code if you're a first time ThreadUp shopper for 30% off, an additional 30% off to already bomb prices. Use my code AsiaDang. And in fact, when I went shopping for this haul, um, a lot of the pieces that are under like $10, like this skirt and this jacket, were an additional 30% off. That is why they are around the $8 mark. So definitely, definitely use that discount code. All the links are in the description box. I'm done talking. Let's get back to my fashion haul. <laughs> why do I call it that? I have no idea what I'm doing. But what I do know how to do is save money. So let's talk about items three, four, and five. Jacket. Estimated retail price, $71 paid, $8.40. The skirt, estimated retail price was $36. $36 for a plain black cotton skirt, could you imagine? But I got it for $8.40. And the piece de resistance, my Reformation top, Reformation people, estimated original price, get this, $148. And it's now mine for 28 bucks. By the way, $28 is the most I've spent on any of the items in this haul, so hallelujah. An all black outfit is really the best. I haven't worn a skirt this short since college, but do I like it? I think I do. This look is actually inspired by a Candace Swanepoel picture that I've had pinned to my board for probably about four years. It's definitely a boss outfit that says like, you're gonna pay me what I'm worth and I can drink you under the table if you wanna try me. So basically you're a woman not to be played with at all. All these pieces are so versatile individually, but my favorite of the three is definitely the Reformation top. Winter, summer, spring or fall, skirt, jean or cover up at the beach, it can be worn anytime, anywhere. Dare I say even a sleep top? Just joking, I would never. Piece number six. Now, 2007 Asian never met a cardigan she didn't like. 
<laughs> Thought I would add some nice color to my neutrals. It was pretty easy to experiment with color when an H&M cardigan only costs you 13 bucks. This is a really cute, easy look. Cardigans are just so easy. I mean, obviously you can wear them with a tank under, but why? Live on the edge a little. It's nice and comfortable, and if I really wanted to crop it, I think that would look really cute too. And finally, piece number seven, a vegan Zara skirt. Estimated original cost $40 and I snagged it for $18. I've always wanted a leather skirt and the shape of it makes it not look super sexy but gives you just enough leg for you to feel dangerous. I paired it with yet another chunky sweater, which you've seen before on a bunch of different videos of mine, and some pleather boots. Hoping it all cools back off again in LA so I can wear this look without the sweat. Just remember, these are working buttons, so can't get too crazy. All right, that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, no judgment about my outfit choices in the comment section, okay? I tried real hard. But as always, the links are going to be in the description box. Thank you again to ThreadUp for working with me on this video and inspiring me to wear human-approved clothes. I'm Asia Dang, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!